I took a little break for the Christmas New Year holiday and then I had a glasses incident that we are still waiting to be resolved. But we are back now with our regular videos and to start it off right, we will be talking about Australian culture. There are several things that make up an Australian culture. Egalitarian, tall poppy syndrome, diverse, eat their national symbol, love to drink, Obsessed with sports, tolerant, and city slickers and beach bums. So let's begin with egalitarian. Australians hold the idea of fair go in high regard. The belief that everyone should be given equal opportunity, which manifests itself in universal support for publicly funded education and healthcare systems. Tall poppy syndrome is where people disparage for their perceived wealth or success or status. Australians love of an underdog results in its scorn for all tall poppy who is invariably cut down to size the moment they get too big for their boots. You may have already known by the Australian flag that there is a large European population in Australia, but you'll be surprised to know that there is so many other cultures there as well. So thanks to waves of migration following European colonization in the late 18th century, European migration following World War II, then growing Asia and African communities in recent decades. In Australia, lamb roast is as common as fettuccine, pho, or falafel. There is one quirky feature of Australian food. Kangaroo regularly finds its way onto the menu. Australia's national icon is a common mean in the form of steak or sausage known as kanga bangers. Quite an interesting name. Australia is the third booziest country outside of Europe and the 17th overall according to the World Health Organization, table of thirstiest nations on earth, with a world of wonderful wineries dotted all over the countryside, as well as a booming brewery scene developing in Australia. It just adds to the love of drinking. You might have guessed that sports are huge all over the world, especially soccer and American football, but you may not have known that Australia has a huge sports population with massive national events like the Australian Open Tennis and the Formula One Grand Prix to local leagues like the AFL and the NRL along with the Summer of Cricket to all of the water sports that miles of Golden Coastline affords. As you can see, Australia is in sports lovers paradise. Australia is actually one of the most urban nations on earth. Despite what you see in TV and movies, around 85% of the 25 million population live within the 50 kilometer of the coast, including 10 million in the two biggest cities, Sydney and Melbourne. Maybe the allure of Australia's beaches are too hard to resist. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit up the share button below and share it to your socials. I put out videos every Sunday or Monday at 2 p.m. This has been Lindsay signing off. Peace.